mathematics is everywhere. Yeah. Whatever we do in our daily life, you don't need to hate mathematics. Because mathematics help us in very many aspects. For example, in eating, in walking, even in sleeping, we just use mathematics. As we are going to see one of the ways to simplify mathematics so that even those people who have lost hope, they are going to, from today, they are going to start loving mathematics. Mathematics is a subject which we have studied from nursery, that's the kindergarten, up to where we are. At even a master level, a PhD level, we just use mathematics. Today, we come to theme two. That's where we deal with the partners and the algebra. Partners and algebra, it has 11 topics. This is where you expect a question, question two from section A to come from. And this question, all of them, they are compiled. And there are only two. As I told you in the first theme, the numbers, that there are six, expect one question, and it is compiled. So, in the theme two, still in section A, they are going to bring 11, question, 11 topics. Out of 11 topics, they are going to set their one topic or two, but combine together. So, when since they are combined, you have to answer them. The first one is sequences and patterns. Expect a question to fill in the missing numbers. Equation of the straight line. Equation of the line and the curve. All of us, we know that the equation there, we have linear and quadratic equations for the case of the O level. Make sure that when you are there, you have to know the equation of the rain, which is says that y is equal to mx plus c. So that is the equation of the rain. So that one goes under the linear equation. So we have a quadratic equation. For example, where you are going to find x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. That is what you call a quadratic equation. So all of these ones is going to be solved under topic 2. That is the equations of the rain and the curves. So when you are solving, expect to use such formulas in this question. For example, completing squares factorization method, general, general method, where people, they call it a bulldozer. So, and the last uh, a graphical method, that's why you are seeing the last word, the curves. You draw a curve. Then, in algebra 2, so in algebra 2, you are going to find that you are going to deal with uh, a difference of two squares, how to expand, how to get a common factor eh? in such expressions. Then the mapping and the relations. Mapping and the relations make sure that they will ask you, for example, what is the, relation, the relationship between these animals and the younger ones? All of us, we can know that eh? the younger one for a cow is a calf. We know that a younger one of a goat is a kid. So that is the relationship. How will you relate these two? One has resulted in two, the other. Then we have inequalities and the regions. So the inequalities, you must make sure that you know how to use inequality symbols. For example, greater, less than, Less than or equal to. Hmm? Less than or equal to. Greater or equal to. It is, this is less than, this is greater than. If they say the word exceeding, hmm, exceeds. So that is greater. Does not exceed. That is less than. So all of these ones, we are going to study them under 
inequalities. Then regions. Shading the area of unwanted region. And that one which is unwanted. So that's where we are going to deal with it. Algebra 2 is also among the theme 2 that is pattern and algebra. So the equation of the straight lines, the equation of straight lines, which says that y is equal to mx plus c. So when you get y is equal to mx plus c, that is under the equation of a straight line. So they are going to ask you there simple, simple questions. As I told you that mathematics, we are going to make it today very simple. That they are going to ask you to find the gradient. And all of us, we know that gradient, they can use letter M or grade. Gradient, it can be used by letter M or grade, which said that M is equal to change in y over change in x or it can be summarized it can be summarized it can be summarized it can be summarized that m is equal to change in y over change in x don't say that this is a triangle this is not a triangle this symbol represents a change, a change in y over change in x. So that is it, what you are going to deal with that topic as we are going to come ahead. But don't forget to come and subscribe on our websites, Muto Online. We are there on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So just go and type Muto on Rains, and you continue getting the solution, whatever you want. Past papers are there, the scenario-based questions on mathematics, this new curriculum, the OD curriculum. So whatever you need, just tell your friends or a colleague to subscribe Muto on Rain, and you get every information there. It is there. Then we have another topic here, called rectangular Cartesian coordinates. So under Cartesian coordinates, that's where we are going to do what? That's where we are going to, to draw the what? The curves and finding, drawing the shapes and finding their areas. They can tell you to plot the coordinates they can tell you to put the coordinates maybe A, which has a coordinates of 1, 7, and B has a coordinates of 3, 4, and last maybe a coordinate of C, which has a coordinates of negative 3 and 5. So they will ask you to put such coordinates on the Cartesian plane. And when you hear the word the Cartesian plane is the same as a rectangular Cartesian coordinates, they can be called the Cartesian planes, Cartesian grid, or a square graph paper. So whenever you hear such names, just know that they are talking about the same. Then we come on simultaneous equations. So the simultaneous equations we have very many methods of solving simultaneous equations. For example, elimination, elimination method, we have another one called the substitution method, uh, we have graphical method, Then, lastly, we have uh, as can be used. Now, when you use to solve 
this is simple, simple elimination, this is simple, simple simultaneous equations. So you can use such formulas to do what? To eliminate. And let's say we have also linear programming. Linear programming, when you want to deal with linear programming, make sure that you know inequalities, the first simple inequalities. Because this is where the question may be set. That they are going to ask you that uh, Mr. Godfrey had wanted to take students for a trip, but he wants to hire two types of vehicles, a bus and a minibus. Where a bus takes 64 students and a minibus takes 45 students. But Mr. Godfrey has 250 students. And they will ask you a question there. Help Mr. Godfrey to know how many trips will be carried by a bus and that one of a minibus. So there you have to know which inequality symbol which you are going to use. For if he has 250 students, which inequality symbol are you going to use? That will be less than or equal to. It's not exceeding. The reason being that he has only one, he has only 250 students. So he has, he's not having any more. He can have this and the rest done. So this is where we can form the inequality symbol out of the statements. Then the last topic is erosi. Erosi, that's where we are going to find That's where we are going to find the what? The area. The area of a what? Of a circle. They can ask you to find the area of a circle. When you are told to find the area of a circle, area of a circle, area which is equal to pi r squared. So that is the area of a circle. They can ask even to find the parts of a circle where you are supposed to find the circumference. Circumference. Diameter. Radius. A chord, a sediment, and so on. So when you are told to, find, to define such a words, you know that the circumference is the total distance around the what? The circle. The total distance around the, the circle. So if you start from here, and when you rotate... Kiroko is like that. Just know that that is a, a circumference. This is a circumference. Hmm? Then you know that a diameter. That's the line in which divides a circle into two equal parts. Diameter, a line that divides a circle into two parts. That is diameter. <clears throat> diameter. And you just know that the radius is a distance from the center to touch on the circumference of the circle. So this one is the radius. And so on. 
which can be used to define a circle. As I told you that this is a simple question. They will ask you to find the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, uh, to find the circumference. You know that circumference is equal to pi d. Hmm? So pi stands for, maybe the straight u pi stands for 22 out of 7, or 3.142. That one. So depending today how they are going to ask you a question. So these are topics which are found in section A, which has two themes. That is numbers and the pattern, patterns and algebra. So they will bring two questions and two of them they are comparisary. So don't forget to subscribe on our or on our is Muto online. So you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. So just yes, go on our website and subscribe Muto online and you are able to get busy social as we are going to check on party.